Now, are you ready for the word? Say after me, I receive the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. Shout it again, I receive the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. Now, yesterday we established some facts on the word of God, and I want to continue from the same spirit as I teach on um, divine rest. Somebody say divine rest. Shall we say divine rest? Shall we say divine rest? Yes. Yesterday we understood certain things. Number one, the first principle we understood from the word of God is the fact that nothing happens here in the physical realm without it first being created in the spirit. Amen? That is the pre um, preamble we established yesterday for anything to happen in the physical, it must first have been created through prayer in the spirit. For man was created by God in Genesis 1.27, but man was formed in Genesis 2.7. So for man to first be formed in the physical, man had to be first be created in the spirit. God said to Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. You existed in the spirit before you were formed in the physical. The second point we understood is that prayers don't just answer our needs when we pray, God does not just answer our needs. We understood prayer actually aligns us with the will of God. Say divine alignment. So when you pray, it's not just that God just wants to answer what you prayed for. But prayer aligns you with the will of God. And, uh, and the last thing I said is... Every physical happening has a spiritual cause or a spiritual consequence. Anything that happens here in the physical has a spiritual cause or a spiritual consequence. Take it again. Hear me very well. When you see something happening in the physical realm, it's either something propelled it from the spirit to make it happen or when you see something happening here in the physical realm, it, is, it has a spiritual replication. Let me give you an example of the other one. When we pray here, it's a physical act, but it's got spiritual impact. Are you getting me? Our prayers are physical. We pray in this physical realm, but it's got consequences in the spirit. So those are the things we established yesterday. So I want to stand in the same light and go with me to Genesis chapter 32. As we climb higher. Genesis 32 verses 22. Shall we read one go? Let me give you a bit of um, background to this and we continue reading. The Bible says, God asked Jacob to leave Midian, his uncle's house, and come back to his kindred. After he took the blessing that belonged to his brother Esau and left to go into exile. So God now comes to Jacob and tells Jacob, go back to your father's house. And I want to do something new with you. And when he was coming, he was scared because of what he did. He thought his brother Esau would kill him. So the Bible says this is what he did. He sent a lot of goose ahead of him. Cattle, sheep, and his servants ahead of him. And then later he comes and takes his wives and children and sends them ahead of him. And he comes to a place where he's left alone. And he receives a divine encounter. Let's read one go. He sent them over the brook. And he sent everything that he had. Then Jacob was left alone. The Bible says, after Jacob has sent everything he had ahead of him, 
He came to a place and he was left alone. And something spiritual happened. And the man, the word man there is in capital letters. That means an angel, a theophany, a God man came to wrestle with Jacob. With him until the breaking of the day. My first question I asked myself when I was meditating is, why did the man come when Jacob was left alone? Why did he receive a divine encounter when he was left alone? Why didn't he receive the same encounter when the servants and, the, um, and the, his property and the wives and the children were around? And God told me, sometimes for us to receive an encounter, we must be left Sometimes when certain people leave your life, that is when you see the move of God. Sometimes when certain people leave your life, that is when you literally encounter the divine. Let me tell you, anytime God has moved me to my next level, let me tell you, that is when I experience another dimension of my ministry. Suppression actually brings promotion. There are certain people, not until they live your life, you cannot receive a divine encounter. There are certain people, not until you yourself make a decision to disconnect them from your life, your life, your ministry, your career, your business cannot move forward. Today, on this altar, anybody that needs to live your life, for your life, for your career, for your business, for your ministry, to move to the next level, we decree and declare, may God remove them. May God remove them. May God remove them. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah said, hear me, in the year that I died, I, Isaiah, I saw the Lord. Sitting upon a throne high and lifted up. One day I was preaching and a theologian told me, David, it's not that, it was not the death of Isaiah, uh, of Hosea that made Isaiah saw the Lord. It was in the year. I said to him, sir, I read 17 commentaries before coming here. Out of the 17 commentaries, 14 people said it was Hosea's death that made Isaiah see the glory. Three said it was the year. So simple mathematics tells me it was the death of Hosea that actually made Isaiah see the Lord. See, I come from a background where I used to preach bishop and after I finished preaching, um, 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 the, the leader of the church at the time will literally come and tell me your theology was flawed. Your exposition was inadequate. Not, uh, not after service, in the service. After I finish preaching, sit down. And, and your theology was flawed. Your exposition was inadequate. So the next time I'm coming, I have to research, study, prepare, so that I don't receive the same message that my theology is flawed and my exposition is inadequate. So I, you, they thought they were breaking me down. They didn't know they were making me up. A few years later, I went to Ghana and I received a phone call and a certain man called me daddy. I'm saying, who are you? He said, oh, you don't remember me from this church. The same man that was saying my theology is flawed and my exposition is inadequate was now calling me daddy. I pray for you. Them that look down on you shall look up to you. So, Hosea had to die for Isaiah to see the glory of God. As long as Lot was walking with Abraham, God never spoke to Abraham again. From the first time God spoke to Abraham and told him to leave his father's house to a land that he will show him and he will make him great. And guess what? Abraham took Lot with him. God never spoke to Abraham again. The day Abraham and Lot part ways, God comes and tells Abraham, see, as far as your eyes can see, I will give you. There are certain people who are Lot, who are Hosea's, who are like Jonas, who are like Delilah's in your life that must depart for you to see the glory. Today, I decree and declare who needs to leave, whoever that needs to leave your life for you to see the glory. I command them to leave now. 
When Hosea's are in your life, they interfere with your assignment. Hosea was interfering with the assignment of Isaiah. When, when laws are in your life, trust me, God never speaks to you. When, they, when Jonas are in your life, when Jonah got into the ship that was going to Tarshish, the Bible said people in the ship had to cast their goose into the sea. When the boy's lost wind came, when Jonas are in your life, you lose property, you lose money, you lose your resources. But Jonah the Bible says was in the hinder part of the ship asleep Jonah lost nothing but other people in the ship lost their property there are some Jonas in your life move them when Delilahs are in your life guess what they mess with your anointing any Delilah in your life that want to move you from the place of where God has ordained you to be to Gaza we pray in the name of Jesus let every Delilah be destroyed in the name of Jesus lift up your hand say oh Lord anybody in my life that needs to leave for your glory to be seen today i declare remove them remove them remove them remove them remove them they are selling people not until they leave your business your business will stagnate see when we read proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 give me the message bible it will shock you the bible says you see, before we read that, hear me. When you hang out with five wealthy people, you become the seized one. When you hang out with five anointed people, you become the seized one. When you hang out with five broke men, you become the seized one. Whoever you hang out with, you end up becoming like them. Scripture says it. Shall we read one? Go. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall into pieces. Who do you hang out with? Do you have loss in your life? Jonas in your life? Delilahs in your life? May God remove them. Let me tell you. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of the people that are associated with you. Did you hear what I said? The quality of your life is determined by the quality of the people that are associated with you. If you associate with non-entities, uh, 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 you will end up like them. If you associate with anointed people, you will become like them. I pray that from today, God will give you a revelation that you shall be connected to the right people. You shall be connected to the right people. You shall be connected to the right people. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Let me make a little detour before I begin to preach. Hear me. God the Father is in heaven. God the Son came, he's gone back to heaven. God the Holy Spirit is with us. Anytime God wants to bless man, he does not use an angel. He uses a human being. Are you hearing me? He says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good men shall press down, shaking together, running over shall God. No, shall men pour into your bosom. Anytime God wants to lift you, he uses another man. Any man that God has ordained to lift you to your next level, any man, the way you are receiving it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God just dropped something in my spirit. Any man God has ordained to lift you to your next level after this prayer summit, may God release him. May God release him. May God release him. May God release him. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear this. Hear this. If you ask every businessman, every business owner will tell you the business is run by a few clients. Some top clients that are your main clients. They are this, the other ones are they just add up to the numbers. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, now God can give you that one client that can change your finances. As I stand on this altar, 
I speak over business owners. May God give you that one client, that one client, that one client, that one client, that one contract, that one tender that shall turn your story around. If you are here, shout, I receive that. That one person. Let me tell you, one person in your life can cancel 10 prayer requests. Did you hear what I said? One man showing up in your life, 10 prayer requests can be canceled. What are you talking about? I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hear me. Do you know what delay is? Delay, man of God, is the absence of the right person in your life. That is the definition of delay. If your marriage is delayed, the right man to marry you has not appeared. If your promotion has delayed, the right man supposed to effect the promotion has not appeared. If any delay in your life is the absence of the right person showing up to change things today. Anybody that needs to show up in your life to cause a shift in your life. Itanimi atataya. Ikelebe asuata. I prophesy. May God release them. May God release them. May God release them. May God release them. In the name of Jesus. In John 5, when Jesus got to the pool, Jesus asked the man, do you want to be made whole? The man had been there for how long? 38 years. And the man said, I do not have a man. The right man to help me get into the pool has not appeared. So he lied at the pool for 38 years. Some of you, you have been at one place for 10 years, 5 years, 20 years. Why? Because you don't have a man. Itani me asote. Hey, I prophesy. Any man supposed to show up in your life to shift your finances, shift your marriage, shift your ministry, shift your business. We decree and declare. Let them appear. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive. One man in your life can cancel 10 prayer requests. The Bible says, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. The Bible didn't say it was a fight. It was a rest. Somebody say rest. Say rest. It was an intense battle with an angel. Uh, with an angel of the Lord. The Bible says, Jacob battled with an angel and all that Jacob was asking the angel, angel bless me, change my life. And the angel was refusing to change the life of Jacob. Now, who is Jacob? Jacob is a man who even from his mother's womb, the Bible said this, he started battling with his brother. This guy has battled through life. He is born, he becomes second born. He finds a way to get the blessing from his brother. Tomorrow I'm going to speak on that. And then, and then he, he, he runs away into exile. And here's something that, let me drop this even before tomorrow. Jacob just left the house with a stake. And the words that his father declared over him. By the time he was coming back in Genesis chapter 32 verse 10. He said, I left this house. I crossed the Jabuk with a stake. But I am coming back with two companies. Why? The words that were spoken over him had the capacity to bring everything he needed. Today, as I combine my grace with that of the bishop and the mom. And we make decrees over your life. The words that we declare over your life will have the capacity to bring you anything that you desire. Your marriage will come because of the words. Your prophecy will come because of the words. Your finances will come through because of the words. I speak over every one of you and I decree and declare whatever you need, I command it to appear. I command it to appear. I command it to appear. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Jacob just received words. Not land, not cattle from his father. But the words had the capacity to make him. Let me tell you, men are made by words, not by possessions. Men are made by words, not by... What word is 
is upon your life? Who spoke over your head? What word do you carry? Jacob just left the house with a stake and words over his life. The words made him. Today, the words we are speaking here shall make you. Jacob last went to his uncle's house. The guy battled, wanted one wife. He had to battle, fight, work hard for seven years. After that, he's tricked by the uncle. Work again. So if you study the life of Jacob, the guy was battling and battling and battling. Rest. I mean, his life was a life of battles. And when you read 1 Kings 5, the scripture I quoted yesterday, 1 Kings 5, Give me First Kings 5 verse 2. When your life is a life of one battle after another battle after another battle, you don't make progress. You are always battling and battling and battling and battling. You've never had peace for three years consecutive. One issue after another. You struggle to go through high school. After high school, you, try, you struggle to get a job. After getting a job, you manage to take yourself through college. You struggle to finish. You failed some papers. You, your colleagues even graduated, but you came back and you finished. After finishing school, you, you are still struggling to get a job. Now, not even that. Your colleagues have married. You are even struggling. Not even wife or husband. Even boyfriend cry. It's a struggle. <laughs> Come on, boyfriend. You are not even getting. Other people wake up to text messages. Good morning, baby. How was your night? You, you wake up to message from Safaricom. Your Foliza is due to be paid. You, you see the difference? Somebody say mercy. Some of you, the only test message you receive is from Safaricom and Etel. No test message. And you are stressed. You watch Netflix. Instead of you to watch action movies, you are still watching romantic movies. And you are single. Every struggle in your life. Who here wants a, a word? Every struggle in your life. I prophetically declare. It is over. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jacob struggled and kept struggling. And the Bible says when he got an opportunity to encounter an angel. In Genesis chapter 26, 28, I beg your pardon. Jacob had a revelation and he missed it. So when he met another angel in Genesis chapter 32, he said, I will not let this angel go. In Genesis 28, the Bible says, Jacob saw an angel and dreamt. He dreamt and he saw a ladder that reached the top of the ladder, reached up to heaven. And this is a revelation for church. And the Bible says he saw angels ascending and descending. The angels were not descending and ascending. The angels were ascending and descending. Catch this. Angels don't move from earth to heaven. They rather move from heaven to earth. But the scripture says the angels were ascending, moving from the earth to heaven. And moving from heaven to the earth. And the Bible says when Jacob woke up, he said, For God is in this place, and I did not know it. And he called the place Bethel. Now, Bethel is the house of God. Somebody say Bethel. Now, Beth means house. El means God. The first time the house of God appears in scripture is in Genesis 28. Bethel. Now, so Jacob was trying to give us a revelation. That at every house of God, angels ascend from the altar with the prayers and the offerings of the members and they descend with the answers back to the members today when you, when you bring it to hebrews hebrews said for you have come to mount zion to the city of the living god 
to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable, to the first church of the firstborn, to an innumerable company of what? Angels. In other words, in every gathering of God's people, angels are present. And what are they doing? They are ascending with the prayers and the offerings of the church and they descend with answers. Today, whether you like it or yes, angels of God are here and they shall ascend. 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 Shall ascend. With your prayers and your offerings to heaven and they will descend with answers. So Jacob saw the angel in Genesis 28. And he says, and that he called the name of the place Bethel, the house of God. This is where God is. And at the house of God, angels ascend and they descend. So in Genesis 28, he allowed the angels to go. He didn't do anything. He was just enjoying the scene. So when he came to Genesis 32, he says, hey, this time I will wrestle. I will battle with the angel for a turn around in my life. So he began to battle with the angel and wage war with the angel. And he was telling the angel, angel, change my situation. Turn my life around. He, he was not mm, taking it easy. He says, I want to change in my life. I want to change in my situation. Ladies and gentlemen, what Jacob was doing was a typology of prayer. He was literally contending with the spirit being. In other ways, he was praying for a shift in his life. I told you yesterday, in the olden days, for anybody to possess anything, they had to battle physically. They had to wrestle. But in the New Testament church, as new creation believers, we don't battle in the physical. We battle in the spirit. So when Jacob was battling physically, it's a type, an epitome of the prayers we make here in the spirit. Today, as Jacob's name was changed from a cheat and a supplanter and a deceiver to Israel, so shall your identity change tonight. Makosha, hear me when he was battling and battling and battling the bible says he battled until the breaking of the day so if jacob slept even at midnight that was four hours breaking of the day is 4 a.m so jacob battled for four consecutive hours with an angel he literally prayed for four consecutive hours with an angel for one day for one thing for his name to be changed but can I tell you something? He didn't battle forever. At the end of the day, the angel asked, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. And the angel said, let me check. If there is a blessing for Jacob, the angel assessed the spirit and realized that in the realm of the spirit, the guy's original identity is Israel. He was walking on earth with the wrong identity. Some of you, you are walking on this earth as a single woman, but in the spirit you are married. You are walking on this earth as a broke pastor, but in the spirit you are a millionaire. You are walking on this earth struggling in your business, but in the spirit you are a big time guru in business. Somebody here is walking with the wrong identity if you can connect and you can battle in the spirit i decree and declare there shall be a shift in your life 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 i see god turn around the identities of men people are moving from poverty i am a whole satire people are moving from being broke people are moving from being single into being married people are moving from struggling into the realm of favor people are moving from being tenants into being landlords i prophesy over your life let there be a shift in the spirit may your original identity break out may your original identity break out may your original identity break out somebody shout i break out if jacob didn't rest he would have kept walking on this earth as Jacob. Meanwhile, he was bigger than that. He was bigger than just being Jacob. 
His name was Israel. This is not the final you. No, 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 no. This is not the final you. The word individual, say individual, individual. comes from a three syllable. It comes from three syllables. In, DV, and duo. Pastor. Where's the pastor you worked with yesterday? Come, come, come. You are good. You know how to. Now, pastor, can I get somebody who is not wearing a nice suit like pastor? Somebody, somebody, somebody. Anybody, any gentleman? Young man? Okay, okay, thank you, it's okay. Sir, you, you come, you come. See, the way this man came from the back, it will not be fair if I tell him to go back. So let him stand. Stand here, sir. Thank you. He ran all the way from the back. So it will, it will not be fair for me to tell him to go back. Yes. So now, let's say this is Pastor Baraz. That's your name, right? This man, I don't know his name. But as the Spirit of God reveals, his name can be known. Are you getting me? Somebody say fire. Oboyo. Huh? That's your name. Who told you power no day? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me preach because if I shift now, the gear will shift. Amen. Let's let's preach and we pray. That's your name. That's my name. My father's name is Oboyo. You are shocked, right? Don't worry. No, relax. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Leave me, Kato. Leave me, Hazard. You are shocked. Strange. I ate before coming in. I'm a normal human being like you. Relax. <laughs> now, let's go. So, let's assume. You see, this man is not wearing suits, right? Now, the word individual means within every person is a divisible part of two. In means within. Div means divisible. Dual means two. Within every one person is a divisible part of two. So let's assume this is Baraza A and Baraza B. Now Baraza A right now may not have much. Baraza A may be struggling. David A may not have a private jet. David A may not have a hospital. David A may not have some things. But now, the future David, the Bible says, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered into the hearts of men what God has in store for me. Now, as this man stands here, he doesn't look like he's got much. But what God has in store, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered into the house of men what God has in store for him. So Jacob, the present Jacob was known as a cheat. The present Jacob was a deceiver. But the future Jacob was a nation. He was Israel. He was a big, great man. Hear me and hear me well. Right now, many of us are here. You, you are just here. Nothing is working for you. Things are tough. Life is difficult. Nothing is moving. But right now, what God is about to do in your life, for you to metamorphose into this one, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered into the heart. What God has in store for you. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when... When you are here, when
when you are here and men write you off, don't worry. When they look down on you, don't worry. When they abuse you, don't worry. Because what God is about to reveal, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered into the hearts of men who are called. If you don't have a car, I prophesy. Any car you desire, receive it. Maybe your car is the car I used to have when I was dating. Bishop, that car stops working the day I want to take the lady out. Every day the car will be working. The day I put the car at the house, intending to go, the car ceases to disgrace. I mean, wants to disgrace me and ceases to work. I prophesy, if you own that car, your story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. May you own a machine. Hey! May you own a machine, a car that will pull at your neighborhood, and people will begin to wonder who is this, who is coming, who is this, who is this, who is this, who is this, receive. me atata. What God is about to do. See, when you are here, it is very easy for people to write you off. And every single one of us, no one knows our end. That is why it's an error for you to write somebody off. But you, have, you don't have the slightest idea what God will do in my life. You don't have the slightest idea what God will do in your life. If you feel like throwing in the towel, don't. Don't. Let me tell you, there was a time I began to wonder. I left house at the age of 16. I said to myself, me, I'll make it by myself. I told him, my father was a preacher. My grandfather was a preacher. There was no way I would fail. I said, me, I have to break through somehow. Hear me, I began to wrestle for my destiny. Ever since I began life. Bishop, I say to the glory of God, never bought a car in my life. But every car I drive was given. Every expensive thing I have was given. I don't use my money to buy. Hey, my money has got a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> to buy a car. To fear car. God has a way of finding a way to bless me. Can I prophesy over you? Anything you desire. May God command men to do for you what your finances cannot do. What you cannot do for yourself, I prophesy over you. May God raise others to do for you. In the name of Jesus. Give me first Kings 5 and then we pray. Let's be outstanding. Let's be outstanding. Thank you, gentlemen. First Kings 5. First Kings 5, 3. 2 to 3. Give me verse 2. Verse 2. I'll pray for you, yeah? Just sit down for a minute. Thank you. Mercy, good to see you. Where is David? Last year, she was fantastic. She ministered powerfully. Bless you. We'll meet later this year. Amen? Let's read. Let's read. Verse 2. So Solomon sent to hear him say. Shall we read one go? He 
He says, you know, my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the walls which were fought against him on every side until the Lord put his foes under his feet. Some of you, you are fighting battles. And so you can't achieve much. Battling like Jacob from childhood until he met an angel in Genesis chapter 32. Today, every battle your life has been going through, I command it to cease. I command it to cease. Every battle your company is going through, we declare let it cease in the name of Jesus. He said, but now the Lord my God has given me rest where? Where? On every side. That means rest in marriage. Rest in business. Rest in finances. Rest in ministry. Is there somebody here? I stand on this altar. I connect my anointing with the graces in the house. With your bishop and your mom. And we decree and declare. May Jehovah give you rest. Rest on every side. Rest on every side. Rest on every side. Rest on every side. On every side. We decree and declare. Let every battle be terminated. Battle in your business be terminated. Battle in your career. Let it be terminated. Battle in your job. I terminated. Battle in your ministry, I terminate. Battle at night in your dreams, I decree and declare. Let them be terminated in the name of Jesus. You enter into divine rest. Say, I enter into divine rest. I enter into divine rest. Divine is when the business is on autopilot. Clients keep coming. You, you don't have to worry. Clients keep coming. Clients keep coming. Clients keep coming. Things keep moving. You don't have to worry about what is happening. May that be your portion. Divine rest is when the marriage is peaceful. No wahala. No sister Mary calling your husband at night. Are you hearing me? Yeah, and you, you, you enjoy peace. Somebody say peace. peace. Say peace. peace. Yes. Peace in the relationship, in the marriage, everything is okay. That is rest. When the ministry is moving and you don't have to worry about bills. You don't want to have to worry about who is leaving the church because the, the members are so many. Amen. If you're a pastor, you know what I'm talking about. He says, now, this is what I like. Say, but the Lord has given me rest on every side. And there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. In other words, there is no adversary on my side. As for me, I have rest. See, that is why Solomon had the mandate and the audacity to marry so many women. Because the guy was not fighting. He was so peaceful. David fought so many battles. Solomon is the only king in Israel that never fought a battle. He was only married. <laughs> it's, it's strange, Bishop, because I wonder how he did it. 300. Even one, it takes grace. 300. <laughs> Say, for the Lord has given me rest on every side, and there is no adversary, no evil reoccurrence. We are lifting up our voice in prayer. The Father give us rest. We enter into divine rest. We enter into divine rest. Rest in your health. Rest in your home. Rest in ministry. Rest in business. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Come on, declare you enter into divine rest. Rapa 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 